3 asks us to hence solve the equation. So I'm guessing in the exam they did have these on the same set of axes because that will tell us how many solutions this is going to have. So if we go back to part 1, we can see that the curves intersect in two places, one here less, uh, less than 90 and one here between 90 and 180. So that gives us a good indication of the kind of values we're looking for. We're looking for a number a bit less than 90 and a number a bit more than 90. Um, and in fact, there'll be the same amount either side of 90 because of the symmetry of the graphs. So let's see what happens. So obviously we're not going to solve this equation. We're going to solve the equation that we turned it into. So we're going to solve the 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x minus 2 equals 0. And we can. this is one of those hidden stealth quadratics um, that they like so much. Um, we can solve this probably by factorising. You can let, if you want to, let uh, say y equal sine x and do it that way. Um, but you can also just put in sine x as your variable. Save you having to switch to y and then back to sine x again. It's however you're more comfortable. Um, so we, if we're ever going to get a 3, the 2 is going to need to be there, the 1 is going to need to be there. Um, we want a plus 4, take away 1 to give us 3. So it does factorise. So that tells us from here that sine x is either equal to a half or sine x is equal to negative 2. Sine x never equals negative 2. So we can ignore that solution. That's not a valid solution. So we're just going to get answers from here. So sine x equals a half. x is going to be the inverse sine of a half, which is 30. And from the repetition or the symmetry of the sine x graph, we're going to get another value. Our 30s here, there's 180. So we're going to get another value over here that's 30 less than 180. So our other value is going to be 30 and 150, which as I said earlier, are both 60 away from 90. So that looks really good. That looks like it's agreeing with what we've got in part one. Um, we've got our two values, one a bit more less than 90, one a bit more than 90. Um, so there you go.